I tell you what, there's one thing I'm not going to be able to do today, and that's complain about the weather. It is absolutely unreal here in Charlotte. This is this is about as good as it gets for me. Like low 70s, no humidity, beautiful clear sky. I'm sitting in the shade just because it's really comfortable right here with this breeze. But nevertheless, absolutely amazing. So I did want to make a follow-up video to yesterday's video where I was walking over to the church to, you know, the volunteer meetup, and uh, just kind of talk about that because it kind of went in a different direction, which I'm not complaining about. It was, you know, it's not a bad thing. I was kind of open-minded as far as the way that it would go because I understood, you know, volunteering for a worship leader position. I didn't know necessarily even what that position was about or anything uh, so once I got done kind of having everybody meet and and we ate and you know just hung out for a little bit listen to the the pastors you know kind of talk and pray uh, they decided to at that point split everybody up you know amongst the groups that they would be working with well I didn't hear anything about a you know worship leader group or, or anything like that so uh, once I was done I just I prayed real quick and I'm like God just get me to the right person that I need to meet to get me in the position that will allow me to, you know, be where you want me to be and to hopefully meet, you know, people that, you know, can continue to have a positive impact on me and I can have a positive impact on other people because that's kind of where I'm trying to go. Um, but ultimately, just whatever God wants me to do, you know, whatever that may be. And uh, so I went over to uh, this this guy, Pastor Mike, he's one of the assistant pastors there. And I just kind of told him, like, look, I have no idea what I'm doing here, but, uh, you know, I'm trying to break out of my comfort zone and, and I really want to volunteer. I've only been going to this church for a couple months, you know, but I know I want to do something. So he introduced me to another guy named Kurt. Now, Kurt, uh, he he quite often gets up in front of the church, you know, right before the service starts and then after the service starts to say like the final message, goodbye, yada, yada. And, uh, and that's kind of what I thought the worship leader was, you know, or something to that effect. So it's, it's actually cool that I ended up getting to meet him because if that is something that I do want to do going forward, he's obviously somebody who could tell me how he got there and you know his process and uh you know whether or not that would be something that i could make a reality or not so right off the bat i took that as a good sign uh the other thing uh he was able to introduce me to kind of the the people he works with which is uh they kind of split off into separate mini groups but they greet people you know when they're coming into church um, they're also there when people are leaving the church and they've got another group of people that, you know, serve beverages and, you know, such when people are coming in, like coffee, whatever. And um, and then they've also got, you know, ushers, security team and whatever. So I met a young lady named Louise that uh, she actually kind of runs that side of things. And uh, and I just kind of looked at her list and it was obvious that the position of need was usher like it was just you could tell like not many people had signed up for it i guess some people feel uncomfortable with that position i don't really have a problem with it and i'm looking to find the spot that's needed right so i said all right that's that's what i'll do you know um it it just it was there it was what i chose i didn't really overthink it i didn't think you know well, i'd be nervous you know nothing it's just hey that's that's what i'm doing you know what i mean uh, it's six months they rotate so it's you know it's not the rest of my life but I'm really hoping that you know that again having faith and just trusting the process that, that this is going to take me somewhere where it takes me I have no idea you know it could just be this actual thing where I'm just an, an usher and and it may be nothing more than that but it may be something more than that and I'd never know if I didn't try it if I didn't go last night if I didn't put myself out there a little bit and make myself a little uncomfortable, then I would never know. So I'm totally cool with that. And, um, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really happy that, you know, I was able to, 
to go for something that, you know, maybe not everyone wanted to do, you know, that, that they needed help with. Um, because I know when I'm showing up late to church, I'm always very grateful when there's an usher there to help me find a seat because it's not a very big church and sometimes it can get pretty jam packed in there. So I'm very appreciative when, when there's somebody there to help me out because I can certainly be running late at times. Um, so I was really excited. So I just wanted to make a follow up on that real quick and just kind of mention that. Now, I do want to kind of go into this morning and and my process today. Uh, it was a little bit of a rough morning for me. Um, after having a good night last night, kind of, you know, you know how like you have a really good night or a really great day the day before and then you wake up in a funk or, you know, whatever. And, and you kind of like, man, like, ugh, you know, I wish I could have just carried that feeling over into the next day. Well, that's kind of how today was. I, I woke up a little bit later than I wanted to, which was a little bit of a bummer. I wasn't running late for work, but I was having to push it a little bit. And I don't like that anymore. Like, I really have enjoyed waking up early and taking my time, getting my kids ready. Like, a smooth process is what I'm looking for in the morning. And uh, so if I don't start off like that, sometimes it can kind of create a domino effect. And, uh, and in the past, that domino effect would literally carry throughout the entire day. The entire day would just be one series of negative events that just kept going and kept going and kept going. And it would become very frustrating. Through this process, I've tried to recognize it as fast as possible. And try to change it you know I talked about this before where you know I I was able to recognize that not feeling accomplished kind of bummed me out and and then I was able to accomplish something I cleaned out my car did some laundry and I felt better this was a little bit different because it was just kind of like a a gut feeling where I just didn't feel right and sometimes that's a little bit harder to fix you know what I mean where You know, I woke up late, I'm I'm in a little bit of a cranky mood, and my cranky mood spread to others, you know, my wife, my kids, and that that kind of bummed me out because I certainly don't want to upset them or be, you know, a negative or a downer on their day. Um, That's certainly not what I want to do, but unfortunately, I you know, I kind of felt like I did. So I had to throw out a couple apologies and, you know... um, self-reflect and say all right you know you you gotta practice what you preach here and and uh you know turn this day around as fast as possible before it steamrolls on you and and just gets out of control so um you know I've talked about God putting people around me and people that have been able to reinforce you know because it's there are times when we need other people you know I've talked about not relying on other people but but sometimes God, even though we're not trying to rely on other people, God will put other people around us that can definitely help us out, which is for me going through those experiences and having other people help me out is why I'm so big on wanting to get to a point in my life where I can help other people out because I see how amazing it is when somebody else can inspire you and make you feel better and pick you up when you're down. And I had somebody today that I work with and he was just like, yo, uh, start, start thinking about the things that you're grateful for. Start, you know, thinking about the things that you're blessed uh, to have in your life. And and it's not too late to turn your day around. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, wow, you know, I'm, I'm saying this to everyone else. And then I'm having to have somebody reinforce that to me. And sometimes that's, this is how it is. But I was grateful that he did that and that he took the time and that he said, you know, hey, snap out of it. The day's not over. This is at like not even 10 a.m. And and it really helped me a lot. You know what I mean? It helped to turn my day around because I started thinking about the things that I'm grateful for. And um, and there's a lot of things that I have to be grateful for. So my day may not start it off how I wanted it to, but. But I'm going to make sure that I finish how I want it to, you know. Um, I've talked a lot about athletes and how I like listening to press conferences. You know, I've listened to a lot of Jameis Winston press conferences where he's had rough first quarters. Uh, Even going back to the days when he was at Florida State. And he said, he would always say, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. 
you know. So even if my day doesn't necessarily start out how I want it to, you know, I can't accept that and just allow the rest of my day to just go down the drain because it started off, you know, in a way that I didn't necessarily like so much. So fortunately, I was able to do so. And uh, with a little bit of help, you know, from from a co-worker that kind of, you know, reinforced that, hey, look, there's things you you can be very grateful for and uh, get your day turned around real quick. It's not too late. And uh, and I was able to do that. And, And one thing I am super grateful for is this weather right now, because this is absolutely incredible. I'm very grateful for last night and meeting some of the people that I met. I really met some like just just super you you could just you could feel their energy i mean it it was just it was awesome and i you know i got to share a little bit of my story with some of those people which was really nice to to be able to open up and to be around you know like-minded people who are really just ultimately searching for ways to to become closer to god and um and that meant a lot to me so always remember you know no matter how your day starts off it's it's never too late it's never too late. I always try to end it on a good note. And um, sometimes we need other people to, to remind us of that, you know, including myself. You know, like I've said, this is, this is my process I'm going through, and I am by, by no means where I want to be. I'm, I'm not a completed, finished product preaching to everybody, talking about, you know, yep, I've done it. This is, this is everything that I do, and I'm, you know, super perfect every single day. Nope. Plenty of faults, plenty of mistakes, plenty of errors, and plenty of times whenever I get inside my own head and I need somebody to help me snap out of it. So just remember that, you know. Um, Anyways, uh, I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm going to keep grinding, keep trusting the process, and have faith that God is going to continue to take me where he wants to take me. And I hope that you trust the process and have faith. So... Take it easy. Keep moving forward. Grind on. Talk to y'all later. I'm out.